should be easy to recognize in future. If you look carefully, well, not even that carefully, you just have a look at her left ear when she looks towards us, it's got a little a bit of a nip in it. So that makes her easy to recognize from that. Also with wild dogs, you can recognize them from their spot patterns. They're all marked different from each other, all marked uniquely. So you can get to know them eventually from where they've got a little patch of white maybe, or how the patterns look over the shoulder or the backside or the tail. But she'd be easy to recognize with that little nip out of the ear. three youngsters. Not the greatest grouping. I mean wild dogs can have massive groups. You can have them you can have them in groups of 20, 30 animals sometimes. You need more adults but hopefully these guys make it. These puppies are just big enough to maybe start hunting with the female. Two of the more endangered large mammals, large mammals in the world, Africa as well. The problem with these guys is they need such large areas to successfully continue their groups. Yeah, they need one one pack of wild dogs can cover the same area as Salby Sands Game Reserve easily if they want to. different animals and humans. Well, I guess we're all mammals, so in many ways not different at all. But always interested, you can see that young puppy as well. Still finding life very interesting. Looking at what's going on around it and above it and maybe listening to the bit of thunder as well. Hi uh, James, how's it going? Um, excellent. I haven't seen these my Dutch, so uh, first time, very, very cool. I just love a pun, you still on the most cut line. Cool, James. Yeah, we um, quite a few members uh, heading this way, but no one else has arrived yet. this one. I'm really hoping these guys stick around and move through here more often so we can really get to see them, get to know them as individuals. And I like this one already, just the way it seems to be curious about its surroundings, the way it's looking around. It seems like a kind of wild dog that hopefully will survive. Bright, very intelligent animals. I mean these guys have got incredible hunting techniques. The specific pack, if you can call it that, adult and three youngsters, they will have to almost rewrite the hunting book for wild dogs it's because they don't have the big pack to rely on so somehow these three youngsters are going to have to learn a few lessons very quickly from the adults and if that happens this group could survive now they are really really bright I mean they are the smart as, smartest dogs out there so there is hope for it let's see these two young ones are maybe going to play with each other a bit It's easy to recognize in future. You see the one that's standing at the moment? Look at the tail. You see, it's almost got a rac raccoon tail going there. It's got a second black mark down the tail. So it makes it very, very easy recognizable. So the adult we can recognize from the ear mark, that little nick out of it. 
that youngster from the tail very easily. Now this one. One on the road, so I just for a while I couldn't see what you're looking at. This one on the road, I'm still hoping to get an easy marking on or a recognizable patch maybe on the shoulder or the back if it stands up we'll see as soon as it moves more. Another piece of luck I'm very happy about is the other game drives aren't getting here as quick as it sounded like so we get to have a little bit of personal quiet time with these dogs. For a few minutes more, we might see it chasing its own tail. A game that many dogs enjoy. the very good hearing earlier just looking at this one again the ears up like that when we do hunting packs now keep in mind the packs can be much larger than four I mean, it can be 20 plus even they've got different strategies different packs will actually learn different techniques that they use but typically they spread out over quite a distance and they run the prey down by literally tiring the prey out so communication between the pack is very very important and that's why the ears are so big Another thing that's interesting is that the bigger pack now, I'm not going to go into the pack dynamics too much because it's not relevant to this specific group because the rest of the pack seems to be missing, which is uh, potentially unfortunate, but um, is that all the adults will actually put all their energy into raising the young. With a lot of animals, lions, leopard, a lot of your larger predators, if food really becomes a problem and conditions are harsh, it's normally the young ones that die off first. With wild dogs, they will do everything in their power to ensure that the young ones keep on living. That's because they've got a relatively short lifespan, four, six years, eight years at the most, depending on the conditions and the habitat. So it's very important for the pack to keep raising enough young ones every year to make sure that quite a few of the puppies from the, from the litters survive, because otherwise the pack's numbers will become so low that the pack eventually will die, which is essentially what potentially could happen with this group. But if these three young ones can pull through, they can find another alpha male then um, then there's a good chance. Now again, I'm not, as far as I know, it's a female adult. That's what I've been told. I haven't seen her before. And when I saw her briefly earlier, it looked like it, but I haven't had a specific look. But most likely a female adult, the three youngsters, alpha female. She looks to find another male. <laughs> 